In the world of stereo equipment, a lot of people are opting to buy sound bars versus the traditional style stereo speaker systems for their entertainment centers or even their desks. And with these sound bars, if you happen to go to a retail store, you'll notice that sometimes these things range anywhere from 150 all the way up to six or seven hundred dollars for the top end brands. Well, today I want to show you a cheaper alternative. Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech. And today I want to show you guys the UMOC soundbar. This is really a top quality product for the price right at the moment. It's under 70 bucks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll have a link to this in the video description down below. Also, if you are interested, I have a discount code that will save you 50% off on this until the middle of August. And that will be down in the video description down as well. And I'll also show it right here on the screen for anybody who's interested. If you do want to go check it out and thinking about looking at it, be sure to use the discount code to save 50%. But today, I want to do a review of this particular soundbar and let you know my thoughts on it and what to expect. When you get the package in the mail, it's going to have the soundbar included, of course. You're going to get the standard wall wart style AC adapter, 120 volts. You're going to get the remote control that goes along with it. It comes with a pretty lengthy auxiliary cable for connecting to your phones and audio devices. You get the splitter if you want to go from auxiliary to RCA cable for older style TVs. You get a coax cable if you want to be able to connect your TV that's a little bit older. An optical cable. And you get the instruction manual as well. On the back of the sound bar within the beveled groove here, you'll see you got a spot for a USB connector. You have a place to plug in your optical cable and the coaxial cable for connecting to your different devices. On the very top edge of the bar, you're going to have a spot to be able to plug in your auxiliary cables if you're connecting to your mobile devices and a spot for the wall wart power adapter goes along with it. In the middle of that, you're going to see it has a small TF micro SD card slot that you can use and actually plug in just a regular micro SD card into this and listen to your songs or whatever directly from the card itself. On the butt end of the bar, on the same end as the connection ports, you're going to have your volume up and your volume down on the left side, a power button, and the mode button. Each time you press this, it will cycle through the different connection modes and gives you a vocal cue as to which one it's on. It'll go from auxiliary, to Bluetooth, to optical, to coax, or to the TF micro SD card slot. Or of course you can do it the easy way and use the included remote, which has the exact same options. It's got power, mute, volume up, down, left, or right. You can switch tracks this way and it's got an individual button so you can switch between the different modes without having to cycle them. You can just directly switch to the mode that you want to. It runs on two AAA batteries. On the edge of the crossbar here where the volume controls meet, you're going to see a LED light. And the color of this LED light it will give you the indicator as to which input it is using. You have white for auxiliary, red for optical, green for coax or yellow if you're using the TF card and if you happen to be using Bluetooth it'll go blue of course and it'll blink if it's trying to connect and it'll go solid if it's actually paired. The bar itself has a glossy black finish on top back and the bottom side of there so it has a really nice appealing look to it and it'll fit well with pretty much any style of entertainment system or TV that you already have in place. Now, I know the biggest question everybody will have is, well, how does it actually sound? Does it sound really good? Well, I had a chance to sit down and play with this, and I hooked it up to my TV, so I had a chance to sit down and watch a movie with it. I hooked it up to my computer and had a chance to try and play some games with it. And I set my phone connected to it and just listened to music for a different while to get a real good feel as to how it sounded. And the bar has four full range speakers, two on each end of the bar itself, that give a really good depth of field for lows and for the highs. It has a good mid-range feel to it. So when I was listening to loud music or a loud movie, I didn't hear any kind of fluttering or kind of jitter to make it seem like I was having a trouble keeping up with it. I listened to some deeper classical music with a lot of cello and a lot of bass and was able to reverb just properly with that. And I listened to some music and played some games with a lot of higher end pitches to it and it was able to get those through just fine too. And before I forget, the soundbar itself has two mounted feet on the bottom of it that allows you to place it on a surface however you would like to, or those feet can be used to wall mount it too if you would like to have it a little bit sitting out of the way or kind of up on the wall. So you do have that option too. Okay, so that wraps up my review of the UMOC soundbar. It is something I've had a chance to test over the last couple weeks since I've had this, and I really do like it a lot. It's got a really good full range, good sound. I've been using it a lot more for watching TV shows and movies in the living room with my wife and my son, and it's got quite a bit of volume to it, quite a bit of punch, and I do highly recommend it. So... If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. Again, the link to it is going to be in the video description down below if you want to go check it out and uh, you know get some more information on it. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss on future videos. If you click the little bell icon, you'll get notified when a new video goes live. Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.